Hey everyone, we're Gabe and Powell. Welcome to our channel. We've both always wanted to travel and see the world. And what better way to do it than in a van? So far, we're loving everything the van life has had to offer. This is our story of how we converted a van into a tiny home during the pandemic. Hello, hello, hello. We are dealing with Arctic winds here in Devon. It's very cold. We've managed to get some of our woodwork done. Jonas is over again to help us with our re-pre-wiring. Something pretty bad happened last night. I spilt a glass of wine on my laptop. Uh, it died. But then today, kind of woke up, died again, then kind of woke up again. So basically, I'm giving it a rest. So hopefully, it will um, yeah come back to life. I'm gonna go and show you what the pre wiring is looking like. We have now finally got all of our side stud work in, sorted, we're happy. Combination of um, drilling straight into the side of the van and our pocket jigging, which I'm absolutely loving. Wait, start again, I wasn't recording. Our latest bit of kit, the pocket hole jig, basically what it does is I'll show a video of us doing it, but you create these holes that go up so you can attach the battens go up like that and down like that. Not moving anywhere. It's really effective, really fun. Everything is feeling pretty solid, pretty good. Please, people, give your opinions about the best way of doing this, but I'm just gonna go to to the best resource on the planet, which is YouTube. Really happy with everything. We kind of go through sort of stages of getting, seeing loads of things happen, and then a couple of days of planning, and then back to seeing things happen, and then, you know, so it kind of goes like that. But that's just the way it goes. I'm gonna stop talking now, and the camera is about to run out of battery, but that's a little update for y'all, and that's all I can say now. Today is a very exciting day. We are putting the solar panel onto our roof. We've got our hinges, we've got the, ce um, the um, sealant, that's the name. We've got our drill, we've got our brackets here. The first thing is we are going to measure up where we're going to be um, putting the, the solar panel. We are currently working out how to attach our hinge to the solar panel. A um, little bit of a tip, we're putting a bit of plywood here so that when you do go through it, it just dents the plywood a little bit rather than going onto the kind of the key bit of the solar panel. So the only problem that we've got is these are too long. My great aunt, she is 90 years old and over her 90 years, she has probably kept every single um, bolt, screw, nail, like anything, she's kept it. She had a packet of bolts that were exactly the right size for what we needed. I'll just quickly show you what Paul has been doing. Yeah, these are now bolted on. Um, amazing, brilliant. I'll show you how we do 
the um, the next one over here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting one before, one washer before, and one after. Yeah, so it's like two washers, one on each side. Mm -hmm. Don't know why, but I think that that sounds about right. And then I'm just kind of like putting it a bit loose first. And underneath, you hold it tight. That's it. To install these hinges, we're just popping a couple of holes in the roof of the van. Your bolt in, a uh, load of sealant. So the panel's going well. Um, we're hard at work, sunbathing. <laughs> Just finished lunch, now we're getting back to it. We are now going to make some little kind of bracket things using some angle brackets to latch the solar panel down to the van. Um, I can show you here, we have now finished putting our um, hinges on. So in a minute I'll show the van or uh, the solar panel will hinge up. Really good morning's work. Now, gonna make some more holes in the van. I've managed to fix our brackets to the solar panel and to the van. You can drill a hole in the side of this. Get this on, get the nut and the bolt going, drill a hole in the van. We'll take a little look at inside here. So the bolts come through like this. We've got another one here. And then basically what happens is we put a washer on and then the nut goes on and you basically hold it with the spanner and Paula's gonna um, tighten it up. We've just cut a hole in the van to put the cables from the solar panel through this um, junction box and down into the van. To make sure that it's nice and protected is we're gonna put some sealant underneath. It's been a hard day, we're almost at the end, but Paula's cooking tonight, so I'm excited. Okay. Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful day here. Um, first job of the day is we need to move the van to this space here. Paula Serra Santos is going to be driving and this is her second time driving this. It's quite a tough manoeuvre, but I think she's capable. Let's see. Now we are trying to work out our template for the shelf that's going to go above our headliner. So this cool little piece of kit, you find your contour angle, push that in and it gives you that dip. Template complete. Let's see if it fits. No. <laughs> oh, 
almost there, but I think I need a cup of coffee. And I'm gonna smash this shelf. It's taken me all morning, but I have got the shelf fitted. So happy. Next, we're gonna get the brackets sorted so we can get them in and then put some carpet on this to match this and then sort it. Oh, I'm so happy. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. The solar panel was a pretty big job for us so we're happy we got it done early in the build. Um, the solar panel that we used is a 320 watt solar panel and so far it is served all of our needs um, it's been pretty amazing I and mean, we've been in Spain so there's quite a lot of sun here. On next week's video we insulate the van, we get started with the cladding and we install our fan. We're going to do another video um, all about the electrics and the solar um, later in the van build series so if you really like the technical information you can wait for that so yeah make sure you subscribe by clicking the button here uh, give us a like if you liked it comment with thoughts questions anything like that don't forget to check us out on instagram too and yeah most of all we hope it made you smile and yeah we'll see you next week Hasta luego.